This is going to change how you do vertical menus forever. Let me first explain the problem and how we're going to solve it. And it's all done with CSS. There's no JavaScript going on here. Nothing over complicated. By the way, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. Make sure you subscribe, share, sign up for our channel if you want access to exclusive videos. So I'm using Elementor. And at the top over here, we have a horizontal WordPress menu. All of these that you see on screen are using the exact same WordPress menu. Okay, I haven't gone and created an alternate version. And like I said, we're not using any JavaScript or any code snippet here. So when you have a drop down or a sub menu, you hover over the Chevron or the Claret and your sub menu item appears. And if you've got a sub menu or a sub item within there, you hover again and it will appear. The problem is though, that if you are gonna show this vertically, and this may be inside of your footer or it may be inside of an off canvas widget. So, you know, you've got your off canvas widget slides in. It could be on a desktop, a tablet or a mobile. What you'll get is this. And this is where you've gone and set your WordPress menu to be vertical. Basically, I mean this setting over here. So when you set it to vertical, this is how it will appear. And you might look at that and think, well, that solves the problem. Not really, because when you hover over it, the item appears to the right. If you hover again over another sub item, it appears to the right. And if you imagine that in your footer or an off canvas widget on your mobile, it does not look so good. And if you don't believe me, if I hover over this item, it appears to the right and I hover again, it appears to the left. That is absolute rubbish UX. Now, if you did set your WordPress menu to be a drop down, now when you click on it, it slides down and obviously wherever you have your sub items, they will appear behaving like an accordion. And again, you're gonna say this solves the problem. Uh-uh, there are two problems with this. First one is you now have to have a drop down. If you don't have the drop down, then it will behave just like the problem one we got here with the vertical where everything appears to the right or to the left or wherever it needs to fit it in. The second problem, watch what happens, okay, when I click this and I now click it to close again. Watch this. I'm not clicking on the word shop. I'm just clicking on the arrow. That will now take me to the shops page. So if I was just investigating or messing around and seeing what options there were, it now transfers me to another location. So that is not the best solution. Now, let me show you my two solutions. This is using the same code. All I've done is change the icon. Okay. Over here, we've got the claret. I click it. And did you notice that it rotated? Let me show you again. I click it and it rotates back the other way. You click it, it rotates. I click again, it clicks, well, rotates and it shows me the other item. And the way this is behaving is exactly how it would behave on the desktop, the tablet or the mobile, wherever you put it. But here's the really cool bit. If I now close this, it doesn't take me anywhere. I'm not joking here, okay? Over here, when I click it and I then close again, it will take me to the shops page. Whereas here, it won't take you to the shop page until you actually click on the word shop. So when I click on the word shop, now it goes. Now I will just let you know though, but if I try to click on the shop page, it will open the accordion obviously, but you don't have to close it. As, as soon as you've got it open, you now click it and it will take me there. But as a fail save, if all I actually do is click on here, look, it's not taking me to the shop page at any point. So now we've got around the problem with this appearing left, right, and wherever. We've got away from the problem of when you do now close the Clara, it now takes you to that page. But we also get a nice little rotating effect. And if you use your imagination, you can change your sub menu indicator to be a plus sign. And why did I go for the plus sign? Because when you hit it, it rotates into a cross, which is quite cool, don't you think? And I do it again and it rotates into a cross and I can close these down at any time. And it won't take me into there until I go and click the shops page or any actual item I have in there. So now let me show you the CSS. So here's my WordPress menu. It's currently set to be vertical and that is important as well. You can set it in vertical, but my code will stop you getting this problem whereby you hover and then it appears left, right, wherever. I go to the advanced tab. I go down to custom CSS. You don't even have to add in an ID or a class name here. You can do, but you don't have to. And then here's my code. And it is a bit of a lengthy bit of code there. I mean, most of it, you know, is about the arrow and how it rotates in. If you don't want to have any of that effect, you can get rid of this bottom part here. But I would leave it in because I think it adds to the nicety of what we're doing here. Basically, all of this bit above converts your menu into an accordion. I've done videos in the past for pop-ups or off-canvas menus. And people have said, I want to have that drop-down effect. 
And I always say, well, you might as well use them to build out an accordion, then drop in your items and set the links. But if you've already got a menu, and remember this, what I'm showing you here, all of this is the same WordPress menu, main menu. Let me click over here. Look, main menu. That's horizontal. That's vertical. That's the drop down. The last two where I've implemented my CSS is the same thing. I hope this solution massively changes how you build out your vertical WordPress menus. You got to like, you got to subscribe, you got to share, you got to sign up for our YouTube channel for our exclusive course videos. And we're going to be doing more videos going beyond into the future. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.